Like frogs, toads are amphibians. They differ from most frogs because they have dry, leathery skin, short legs, and large bumps covering the external skin gland on the back and neck. Biology Usually the largest of the bumps on the skin of a toad are those that cover the parotoid glands. The bumps are commonly called warts, but they have nothing to do with pathologic warts being fixed in size, present on healthy specimens, and not caused by infection. It's a myth that handling toads causes warts. Toads travel from non-breeding to breeding areas of ponds and lakes. Toads, like many amphibians, exhibit breeding site fidelity. Individual American toads return to their natal ponds to breed, where they are likely to encounter siblings as potential mates. Although inbred examples within a species are possible, siblings rarely mate. Toads recognize and avoid mating with close kin. Advertisement vocalizations given by males appear to serve as cues by which females recognize kin. Kin recognition thus allows avoidance of inbreeding and consequent inbreeding depression. A friend of witches. In the Middle Ages, people associated toads with witches and the devil, whose coat of arms featured three toads. The species was believed to have magical powers. If a toad was found in a house, people assumed that the residents of the home were associated with witches. What do toads look like? On average, common toads are about 4 to 7 inches long. How much does a common toad weigh? The biggest European toads only weigh half as much as a baseball. Southern toads are typically larger than their northern counterparts, and females are usually bigger than males. Coloring for individual animals varies between gray-brown and olive-brown. Males are usually browner than females. Both sexes have dirty white underbellies with gray and black splotches. All toads sport wart-like lumps and their skin is dry. Toads have slightly protruding snouts with mouths and two nostrils. They don't have teeth or necks, but they do have bulging, bulbous eyes with yellow or copper irises and horizontal stilted pupils. Behind each eye is a gland filled with a substance which is a noxious liquid that toads excrete when they sense a predator or feel threatened. Common toads are often confused with natterjack toads and European green toads. However, natterjacks have a yellow stripe that runs along the lengths of their backs, and green toads have a distinct pattern that differentiates them from common toads. Behavior Toads prefer to be alone, but they do congregate for mating season. As nocturnal animals, common toads wake at dusk and spend the evenings hunting for food. At sunrise, they return to their lairs and sleep the day away. A toad's year consists of three stages, sleeping, mating, and eating. In winter, they burrow away and enjoy a winter sleep. Unlike hibernation, winter sleep doesn't result in the animal's bodily functions slowing to a point where they don't wake for months. Sometimes, on milder winter days, you can find a common toad out foraging for food, though it's rare. During the winter sleep period, toads find long-term slumber spots in basements, under mud composts, and around dead wood. Some dig ground holes near other amphibians. They wake in the spring and start migrating to their ancestral breeding grounds, which can be miles away. To travel, the weather needs to be above 41 degrees Celsius, in the autumn, toads spend their time filling up on food. Commons toads have four legs, which they use to get around. The majority of the time, toads get from place to place by walking. It's a clumsy walk, but they can reach speeds of up to 5 miles per hour. Occasionally, they'll intersperse their walking with short, awkward hops. Toads use vocalizations for various reasons. In the amphibian symphony, they are responsible for the high-pitched quark calls. Toads settle disputes mainly through croaking, and the tenor of its croak is an indication of its size. The bigger the toad, the deeper the quark. Where do toads live? Toads live all over Europe, except in Ireland, Iceland, and some parts of Scandinavia. Their eastern range limit is Siberia. Their southern range limit is a series of mountain ranges spanning through Morocco. 
Algeria, and Tunisia. They are also found on certain Mediterranean islands, including Malta, Crete, Corsica, Sardinia, and the Balearic Islands. Scientists have also discovered small populations in northern parts of Asia. Where do common toads leave? Primarily, they like to leave in high foliage areas, like forests, woodlands, open countryside, fields, parks, and gardens. During their daytime slumbers, they burrow in layers under leaves, roots, and stones. Common toads can be difficult to spot as they usually find places where they blend into the natural surroundings. For example, a gray toad may prefer to sleep near stones because their skin acts as a natural camouflage. Diet Common toads don't weigh much, but they're voracious eaters. They mainly dine on invertebrates, animals without a backbone, including woodlies, slugs, caterpillars, flies, earthworms, and beetles. Sometimes, they eat small mice. Since toads don't have teeth, they gulp their meals whole. Additionally, to aid in hunting, common toads have a sticky substance on their tongues to trap prey. Toads must be careful about their beetle selection though. Bombardier beetles, also known as the farting bug, secrete a poisonous liquid after being swallowed. According to studies, the substance makes toads sick, and most vomit up the beetles within 12 to 107 minutes of digesting. Amazingly, most of the regurgitated bombardiers are still alive when they exit the toad's body. Predators and Threats Toads are equipped with natural toxins, which they secrete when threatened or provoked. They may also play dead or puff themselves up to appear bigger if they feel threatened by predators. This goes a long way in warding off animals who see them as a meal. However, it's not a foolproof biological system. For example, grass snakes are unaffected by the substances and swallow toads whole without issue. Hedgehogs, rats, minks, snakes, herons, crows, raptors, and domestic cats are natural predators of common toads. To avoid toads' defense toxins, birds poke holes in the amphibian with their beaks and peck out the livers. Blowflies also present a big threat to European toads. A parasitic predator, blowflies lay eggs on toads' skin. When the eggs hatch, the larvae crawl into the toad's nostrils and eat their flesh internally, resulting in death. Young toads are sometimes attacked by worms that slow their growth and cause anorexia. Dragonfly larvae, diving beetles, and water boatmen also feed on tadpoles. Climate change is a significant threat to common toads as well. Since troublesome weather patterns are causing other animals, like otters and frogs, to seek higher ground. Toads now have more competition for food, and they're not winning the resources fight. Other human-related threats to common toads include drainage of breeding wetlands, agricultural activities that disrupt habitats, pollution, and road mortality. Mating and breeding. Using smell and orientation cues, common toads return to the ponds in which they were born to mate and breed. In the early spring, males grow nuptial pads on their fingers. When a boy toad finds a girl toad with whom to mate, he mounts her back, wraps his front legs around her armpits, and uses the pads to grasp on tightly. Males can stay in this position for several days as they fertilize the female. Once females are fertilized, they lay strings of eggs that look like black pearls. These strings can contain between 3,000 to 6,000 eggs and reach 10 to 15 feet long. Water seeps into the eggs, and within two to three weeks, depending on the weather, tadpoles hatch. Parents typically don't stick around to nurture their spawn, but the hatchlings sometimes form shoals, which are large groups of swimming fish. Generally speaking, toads prefer to breed in deeper water, like fish ponds, village ponds, and reservoirs. In recent years, males have been arriving earlier at breeding grounds because the weather is getting warmer sooner. Females often take a year off between mating seasons. Lifespan In the wild, toads live between 10 and 12 years. In captivity, they can live up to 50 years. 
Females of this species have higher mortality rates than their male counterparts. As they age, toads are vulnerable to several common bacterial and viral diseases, including red leg syndrome, mycobacteriosis, chlamydiosis, and rhinovirus. Pet or Prince The population has decreased by more than two-thirds since the 1980s. In Spain, due to increased aridity, conservationists consider common toads to be near-threatened. The United Kingdom Biodiversity Action Plan lists them as a priority species. Why are toad numbers plummeting? Several factors are contributing to the decrease. The main problem is habitat fragmentation because of urban sprawl and increased traffic. Since toads travel back to the ponds in which they were born, they must cross busy motorways to get there, which leads to high amounts of road mortality. The good news is that an active grassroots movement has developed over the past several years to help toads cross roads safely. Commonly known as toad patrols, thousands of volunteers in the United Kingdom and across Europe engage in a variety of toad protection activities during the spring migration. Toad patrols devise ways to get animals across busy streets safely. Some collect them in buckets and others carry them one by one. At the busiest intersections, local councils and volunteers post toad crossing signs. According to some estimates, toad patrols save up to 800,000 animals annually. I believe the correct phrase for a bunch of toads is prints, even though many people might casually refer to them as a clutch. That's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching.